Welcome to this video. I'm Martin Grandjean, and with my colleague Mathieu Jacomi, we want to question the intersubjectivity of network interpretation. What do we see when we analyze a network? This is sometimes very personal, depending on the disciplinary tradition that guides us, our technical skills, and our understanding of the different theories that underlie network analysis. This hermeneutic pro process is subjective by nature, which may seem paradoxical considering that the digital methods are often supposed to objectify our research topics. Yet, as Karl Popper argued, descriptive statements necessarily draw their validity from intersubjective argument. How much agreement does network analysis offer? To discuss this, we extracted a network dataset that we each analyzed on our own. We didn't know the data in, in advance and had given ourselves a maximum of two hours. We recorded our screens and then made a quick commented montage of the main moments of our process. All this is then compiled on a web page that allows us to compare our interpretative journeys. A few words about the data. We worked on a network of Wikipedia pages that link to each other. We harvested the European cuisine category by extracting all its pages as well as the pages listed in its subcategories. To do this, we used notebooks developed by Mathieu and available on his Mapping Controversies website. We then extracted all the links between the pages uh, of this list and kept all the pages that are linked at least twice. The network contains 5,800 nodes and uh, 300,000 edges. Let's move on to the first part of this process, which is taking the data, opening a, a, a network analysis software, and trying to, to see what it's all about. So I'm opening Giphy, uh, opening the GXF file, and uh, uh, making a few calculations on the degree just to understand what the data is about, just to understand the distribution of the, this metric, to have a better idea of the complexity of the network I have in front of me, uh, and then uh, 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 you, I use a few, a few uh, uh, visual elements to, to make sure that I, I distinguish the bigger nodes and the small nodes. As a first step in my process here, I, I use the Frischtemann Heingold uh, uh, specialization algorithm. I, I like this specialization algorithm because it, it puts all the nodes in a, in a specific circle uh, uh, and then uh, uh, all the nodes at the same distance from each other. Uh, it's a very soft, force directed algorithm, I would, I would say. And I, I, I always like to start with something like that, just to have an idea of the network. And then I will move on to something more uh, strong in terms of, of uh, specialization algorithm to show, to show the cluster a bit more. This, this first moment is also the moment of the first exploration, just to have an idea of yeah, the structure of, it, of the graph globally, uh, uh, to, to, to have a look at the, the main clusters, to have a look at the main groups and uh, also the moment to, to start the first calculation, uh, especially here, uh, the betweenness centrality, just to have an idea of the main uh, 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 linkers uh, in, in this graph. So I change just the color to have an idea of their sp spatial position. And then, of course, I have a look at the data itself, just to, to see the names uh, of the, the nodes and the Wikipedia pages that are linking different groups together, hence the, their high betweenness centrality. Um, here I stop on a specific node, the biggest one, just to see uh, its uh, uh, ego network or all the, the, the nodes that are connected to, to this node. Uh, just and, 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 and I pick a few different nodes just to just to to see uh, uh, if the, 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 the node that is in the middle is connected to every other node, or if it's not the case here, it's not completely the case, which is even more interesting. And now let's look at some more peripheral nodes, just to have an idea of the uh, uh, different pages that are linked to this main red uh, uh, dot in the center here. Um, then I choose a, a more neutral color to go uh, uh, with the next part of our um, uh, specialization uh, process, which is applying Force Atlas 2 here uh, uh, to uh, give the, the, the clusters a little bit more uh, space uh, and to let the graph arrange uh, uh, around this new uh, um, spatial referential. Um, so here you see that uh, uh, the network is very highly clusterized. Uh, there are very specific groups in the periphery and in the middle a very large soup of nodes uh, that are very hard to, uh, to to see because everything is is, is entangled. So that's why I'm uh, um, using different uh, visual uh, parameters here to try to 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 uh, to make the edges less visible and to have the, the nodes 
um, label appear better just to, to just to be able to explore it a bit more.